my fleece, which is a fine Romney Hoggett fleece, uh, well washed and still in its staple form. I have a little spritz bottle uh, full of water to which I've added a couple of drops of hair conditioner just to control any uh, static electricity. I, I have a, a carter uh, which I use to uh, just flick out any dusty tips. A diz to create my roving and of course my combs. These are uh, two pitch mini combs. Motocraft also uh, make a single pitch comb. These can comb any well-grown fleece from merino up um, as long as the fleece is of good length for the breed and have ex excellent tensile strength. That is uh, not at all tender. Fleece longer than 150 millimetres or 6 inches uh, can be more difficult to comb as it is harder to control on the combs. So we'll uh, just start lashing the fleece onto the comb, just the butt end. transferring um, the fleece onto the other comb. I may have a problem with the static electricity already. I should have done that to start with, which I will do next time. I'm left with just the rubbish there. Take, get rid of that. And one more time. Should be enough, one more. There's a lot of fleece on here. And just to loosen it, we can just lift it slightly at the back. It makes it easier to um, pull off the comb. Almost all. Time to stop when I have a lovely loose puff and I do not see any nips in there or any little burrs. But this is pretty good now. It's a very nice, very well prepared fleece. And that's, that's the main um, issue. If it's well prepared and it's a good fleece, it's good, good length, good strength. It will be perfect for combing. There we go. I think there's one little bit of rubbish there that I can just pick out. There we go. Already. Now I can just pull that into shape and I can tuck that in and comb. I mean, spin directly from this. So I can
comb this and spin directly from from the comb or alternatively I can dizz this Just ease the massive fibre a little bit up the comb to make it easier to dizz. And this will make a lovely long loose roving, perfect for your worsted yarn. I don't like to waste any fibre, so I get as much of that as I can. A lovely little puff of fibre ready to spin. If the tips are a little dusty, dirty, I just pull the tip through the teeth of the carter and then lay it on. It just gets the dust out and then put it, put it through. Just combing the tips, just pulling the tips. Thank you. 